Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I am Catherine of Sky, and I have just made an amazing scientific discovery. There really is dark matter in space and it burns with fire. It's very exciting. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to thank you guys uh, for commenting yesterday about my train station situation where you suggested that I name the individual stops similarly uh, or exactly the same specifically. Um, and it allows the, the train to choose the one in the direction it's going. So thank you guys for, for reminding me of that. I usually use that technique when I, um, when I use unloading stations for ore, but I forgot about it in this instance. So it's, it's really going to help us get from point A to B to C. Um, so one thing that I noticed is the very definite problem. Wait, oh, I need to go to manual mode. There we go. The problem that we're having just a slight problem with plastic. There's like nothing there. So the solution I came up with is to basically grab those oil wells that are uh, over here, these oil patches, which probably means we're gonna have to take out this base and that base and definitely that lookout worm. But we also need to take care of this stuff right here, this um, peninsula or not peninsula, this sort of the cut cutting this lake cutting through our territory uh, for which I have been making some landfill as you can see right here set up so I think I'm gonna load up on some stuff I have the turrets which are good gun turrets shove in there no nope, wait not there not there and I'm gonna go get some grenades and basically anything else that I think I might need so let's get grenades 300 should be more than enough. Here, let me shove these extra five back in. And I have iron sticks. Why do I have iron sticks? I have no idea. But I could shove them in over here. And I have a single plastic bar. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to oil. And I think otherwise we're ready to kind of take things on. I got as much landfill as I could for the moment. Uh, so, oops, not there. Let's go in there. And I'm going to try to use it, use it fairly, um, what do you call it, sparingly. Oh, we're on shotgun thingies, these thingies, that thingies. I'm not really into the shotguns anymore. They don't seem to work that well. Let's just go with combat. Wait, uh energy shield. Oh, that's Mark II. Okay, let's just do com combat robot damage just in case we decide to go that route. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do in terms of this area is at some point go all the way uh, to this level, like through the whole thing, not just lines for the train tracks, but actually pave the entire area. But let us see. <clears throat> and try to put this pretty sparingly because I know if you just use a paintbrush it does it doesn't use I mean it uses too much that's the issue and since I don't actually have that much on me I want to get to biter territory and hopefully not die that would be a plus Oh my god. All right, all right. Just see if we can hit him. Hit the berm. Oh my god, that's a that's a small worm. Boy, it looks it it looked really big. <laughs> okay, I think he died. That's good. Uh, and let's see if we can get some more of this landfill going on here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's blow up these trees. There we go. Oh, and it's still on fire. Okay. All right, time to go fishing. Hey fish, how you doing? Fish, fish, fish. Ah, oh, there's another fish. These would make really nice fishing, fishing uh, piers and docks and things. I never thought about coming up with a, a fishing playthrough specifically. Two and three. Okay, that's fine. And I have one left for emergency. I think I'll put that where these assemblers go. Fish, go down there. And let's just get rid of some of these this forestry. It's gonna have to go these forests. Um, 
There are biters right there. Okay. I also want to have a clear space to run. In case some of them decide to attack, like there. Yep. Oops, okay. So, it's time to get out the gun turrets, I think. Alright, I'm just gonna research anything that's kind of red-green. Let's get out of this range here and... Oops, why did that not work? Come on, thing. Work. I'm just gonna do a little bit of turret creep here. Oh, really, science? Go away. Shoo. Fine, 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 fine. Grab these two turrets. Oh. Okay. Let's go back to the flamethrower. Just set these guys on fire. Put down. You know what? I'm just gonna get that the flamethrower. And I'm going to grab up these turrets again. Good. That was successful. Excellent. Okay, so the next base is... Wow, it's over here. Um, but the oil patch is up here. Yes. Let's just clear this out a bit. This may be one of those instances where I need to divert the train tracks to go around. Because I do not want to miss out on this really nice oil patch so close to home. But they think... Is that the end of it? Yeah, that's the end of it, definitely. Let's see this outer edge. Oh, let me just get out of this for now. Okay, there's one there. And that's the last one, okay. All right, so let's start clearing. Let's get some research going. And just start clearing a path through this forest. So that I can run back, behind. Um, Alright, and I'm going to build a couple of turrets here, just in case some biters decide to, you know, eat me. Whatever. Oh, precision grenading. Woo! Nice. And here they come. Okay. Good, good, good. That's going well. And research loves to interrupt at the most inopportune times, alas. Okay, let's just put these guns here. Take up these guys. Normally I'm not a fan of turret creep, but um, the situations in this particular playthrough have made it necessary to to use different tactics than normal. I normally just wait until I have power armor and then kill everything. That seems reasonable to me. <laughs> just like skip straight to end game and call it good and, and that's the way it'll be. Um, but obviously sometimes you have to adapt. Uh, and that's why I think it's cool that the, the Factorio devs have given us lots of options for, for playing the game. I think it's pretty cool. So let's look at our map. Uh, wow. So those guys are not terribly close, and there is this giant forest to mostly suck up the pollution. I'm not going to destroy that until I actually get the train tracks through it. Let's destroy these trees so that fire does not spread. Um, we don't want it to burn this entire forest down because I want to basically tap these oil wells and have no problems in... Uh, uh, in defending this area. I think it'll be pretty cool just to put a couple of turrets say like down here because the biters will not come through these trees I don't think. I think they're too dense so these have too many. Actually you know what I'll just leave 50 in there. Why not? This has 50. This has not enough now. Um, Let's just do this. Go, go, go. And there we go. Alright, that's just fine. 
So let's get some some pump jacks. How many little things do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, and that's gonna be pretty much just enough for our, uh, our thing. Okay, so we have train track here normally, one, two, and there. So I would like this pipe to go, uh, well, this way. Um, okay, rocket shooting speed, stuff things. Come on, leave me alone. I did nothing to you. All right, we'll drag this back. Uh, and we'll get, we'll just put this landfill in here. So we can take it across consistently, maybe. Okay, my plan did not work as well as I wanted it to, but that's okay. Okay, and it does not fit here. No, I ran out of landfill. Oh, shoot. All right, well... I'll just, I'm sorry for anybody who this bothers, but uh, this is this is the way we're gonna go because I don't have enough landfill made. My assembler is making it and my stone miners are mining stone, but yeah. This is the best we can do for now. Great, yay, we made it, cool. So let's go and pick up some pump jacks. Take our train. Uh, okay, just take whatever stuff, things. Whatever you want to research, do that. Go to science. And plastic is just barely, barely trickling in. I figured there was no reason to really set up blue science until we actually have the materials to support it. So... This is actually going to be a really good good option for this, I, I think. Alright. Let's get some of this red ammo. I don't have much. It looks like it needs some nice bits of copper. We'll shove that in after we grab these pump jacks. And I forgot how many there are. There are less than 20, so I'll just take that many. Uh, do I need some pipes? Yes, of course I need pipes. I always need these kind of pipes. And... What else do I not need? Mm, I think we're pretty good on the rest of the stuff. Um, I have regular pipes. I have underground pipes. I have power poles. Probably too many power poles. Let me shove some of those back into their boxes. I may just give up on some of this research until we get blue because... It's not working very well. I just have too many. All right, and I have plenty of long distance ones. Got inserters, a plenty. I can even shove some of these uh, things back in just to get a little bit more space. I can't wait till we get better armor so that I can increase my inventory size. That would be very useful. All right, now we go to oil. Boom. There we go. So I thought about putting lights all along this train track so it would be lit at night, but I also kind of like the effect of having the cone of light in front of it. I don't know what you guys think about it. Uh, because as we go along, it's like we come to these lit areas, which are like little towns, and it's kind of almost like riding a real train in a way. Um, so if you have any opinion on that, let me know. A little bit of light going on there. All right, so I want to get um, power poles going on. Okay, let's. I want to make sure this connects that way. Wait, are these? They are the right. They are the right distance. Okay. Of course, they'll get all kinds of mucked up when we go on this bridge, land bridge, but I think we might be able to place them there, if we are lucky. But we may not be able to get through them. Can we get around them? No. Okay. I'll have to place these coming back until I can get enough landfill to fill all this stuff in. 
Okay, that, that's okay. At least we could walk by the pipes. That's a good thing. All right, so here we are in oil land. Yay. And of course, I will divert these tracks when necessary to end. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Is that how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There is an eight somewhere. Where would that be? Uh, okay, here, there it is. Okay. It's always good to look at that map. All right. So these can go this way. I think I'll put a an underground here so I can pass by more easily. Mm, and this can just go straight across as like that. I think we'll do something like this for over here. That seems to work okay. Not too bad. All right. And we have oil. Great. Let's put some power poles here. Oops. Oh my god, I did shift click as though I were using robots. Oh. That looks like they're all covered. Good. We'll get this uh, power line just going now. And the turrets are filled. Good, good, good. Thinking that should be enough to hold them off for a while until we build the rest of this, but I will definitely need to come back and check on them at some point. All right, and I'm taking care to build this behind me because I will not be able to cross it until I get this landfill put in. Oh man, such a funky thing. It does look funky if you do this because you can put railroad tracks over that uh, land square and it looks like you just have railroad tracks floating on water. It's kind of cool. So are we getting oil? Maybe. Possibly. We just need to see. Is there going to be more plastic? So we have one, two, three, four, five refineries. And uh, how's this going? Are we filling up? Yes, we are filling up fairly quickly, which is very nice. And we should start to see some more production there. All right, portable solar panels. Let's, we will not need those ever, I think, but that's okay. Let's start, let's go to smelting, boom. And plastic, yay, is starting to come in a little teeny bit faster. I know it's not much, but it is something. All right. Very good. And we'll hop out here. That's okay. Because we need to carry this plastic along. And see how we can connect it into our bus. Looks like down here is the connection point that I was looking for. I think everything wants blue. The world wants blue. All right, so I would like to put it above these miners, I think. So here-ish. Great, so this is gonna be really well organized if I do this. to save a bit on materials because these guys are going to be fairly temporary anyway. Okay, so... Oh, no, 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 that 
that's not what we wanted. Oh no! Oh shoot. Okay, I just messed up my long-term master plan. Um, <laughs> I intended for this to be copper. Hmm. You know what? But we're not using it right now. Uh, but we might soon. Alright. You know what we'll, we'll do? We will space these mining drills appropriately and then just go underneath them. That's what we need to do with this. So, really, we will just take this down one square. And we might actually need it further than one, but we'll leave that for now. I need to change this area so that it fits neatly within the parameters we can put with the miners. So basically I can put these miners two squares apart and we'll be able to pass the belts right through them. There. And there we are. Hey. Okay. And that plastic I'll get that back on this belt. All right. So I will just hook this up. And that is actually all the time we have left for this episode, unfortunately. So um, let me just get this out of the way. And that plastic will slowly fill up this line here and start to go all the way down the bus. And then we will be able to start getting blue science done. Finally, yay! The blue ribbon world is getting blue science at last. All right, this is connected. Didn't want to leave that between episodes. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.